Okay, you're back with the Passion Fruit Walrus, and uh, we are continuing our attempt to prevent the Protoss, uh, <clears throat> the Dark Templar, from, uh, from escaping. And uh, we are building up our forces in that uh, endeavor. Those can do it a bit faster. So I think next I want to launch an attack on the Zerg in this position. Uh, not the Zerg. I'm the Zerg. I want to launch an attack on the Protoss in this position. Possibly from three directions, and I want mostly Hydralisks with some um, Zerglings backing them up. Oh, I should say. Nice wave of zerglings and uh Yeah. Now the question is do I actually need more than more than a squad of hydralists guarding this position? No. You guys stay there, I think, for now. Yeah, I've got a little bit more food to that, I think. Mm. Let's see how many we can get here. Four there. Yeah, let's start with faster movement, that's always a good one. Circlings. Twelve hide lists. Move these guys out of the way so they can be defending that. Uh, possibly want another squad of hydralisks, I think. I can't remember how big that base is. I think they've got the uh, the Protoss Reavers, the uh, the things that shoot the uh, the little well the big blue uh, blue balls of light. That explode with substantial damage, which are they're basically the Protoss equivalent of the siege tank. So yeah, they need dealing with. Come to think of it, I suppose you could say that infested Terrans are actually the um, the Zerg equivalent of the siege tank in terms of damage, perhaps. But then again, like for a single shot there they do slightly more damage, but they're suicide bombers, so they um you run out of them pretty quick. Whereas the siege tank can just keep firing, which is superior in that respect. Are they? Oh well. I'm sure they'll cope. Right, so our second squad of Zerg uh, Hydralisks can go there. Uh, I don't want to build any secondary base bits. Maybe. Hulchlisk might be worth having. Uh, and all the little bloody overlords. Iron, let's get some more bloody overlords. Oh, they've come into the picture, have they? Yes. I do not like the, uh, the High Templar. Oh shit. Um, make sure that's bloody reinforced quick. Yeah, because they do... Um, the lightning attack they've got is really good when the AI is playing with it. When I try and use it, it's, it's just not particularly amazing. Because it is basically because it's hard to um, do sort of do it in several places at once, which the computer can do, of course. But you, know, you, you have to click on it all yourself, so that's a bit harder. A bit like the queens as well; they can be quite handy in uh, you know when the uh, well, quite nasty 
when the uh... oh shit, when the AI is playing against you, I blew these fuckers with this time. Oh, shit. Okay, I'll use that one down. Uh, why have we got a random spot there? Right, let's try and get those destroyed as quickly as we can, and then we can focus on them. If you can just destroy that buddy boy and uh, we'll just focus on destroying that because we do not want to deal with any more of those right now. Resources are going down, so oh, because I'm losing shitloads of uh, troops, of course. Haha, <laughs> should be obvious, really. Right. Right, so the enemy's attacks are weakening a bit by there. Let's get them reinforced a bit if we can. Try to swamp them with a few zerglings as well. Uh, don't, oh, crap. Right, to destroy that first. That is a priority. Just because it just cuts through your troops like crazy, it really does. Absolute bastard. In fact, what might be a good idea would be to get some um, guardians in place to basically do some guarding. Um, haha. Right. This lot, I think. Let me get them down here. Can I just hold that position? Right then. It looks like that position's pretty much done for, but they've still got a little bit of fighting them left. Set up base there. Uh, he can be a uh, gas producing what's it? Oh, good, they survived. Strike at you from the shadows. Do not think we lack the courage to stand in the light. You would do well to abandon this attack. You seem overconfident of your abilities, Dark One. I am no helpless Cerebrate to be assailed under cover of darkness. I am the Queen of Blades, and my stare alone would reduce you to ashes. You and your ilk cease to amuse me. Prepare yourself for Oblivion's embrace. Just like to wax poetic, doesn't she? Bit of a megalomaniac, but she's fun. Okay. Send them up there to check. is clear. Let's see about getting a couple more hatcheries, I think. And let's send these guys down here, reinforce that area. And we can start thinking of assaulting along this uh, direction. Right, do you want to do a bit of scouting then, little zergling? Some enemies that I can pop. 
pop it with the high doors of chopping. Oh, mother. Oh, good, we got him. <laughs> Oh, there's a couple of them for some reason. Yeah, the, uh, these fuckers will gobble up your bloody uh, troops pretty quick as well. Right then, let's get another hatchery. Uh, call it there. And. Uh, do we? Right, let's put a hive. Uh, around here then. The hive, a um, the queen's nest or whatever it is. Um, maybe another hatchery around here once the uh, the minerals are gone. Mm. It's different. Different colours of Protoss. There's a teal one and a green and a blue one. Right, let's move you guys up to here. I think. All right. Can you do anything about that thing, or are you going to die in the attempt? Not secondary, not secondary base, but uh, grab that mineral area. Um, put a hatchery by there. Move you guys up a bit. Right. Okie dokie. So then, you lot can come down here then, I think. Get you, uh. Gathering that little acquisition. And then we'll turn him into a hatchery if we can later. So let's just scout out the uh, area by here. Um, spot the base. Alright. A bit risky, that is. Right, have I got any more troops I can send down the canals? Not really. Okay, more of those bloody things. Alright. Dodgy. Um, I've got loads and loads of gas. Look at all that. 3,476. Alright. Mm, oh, gosh. These guys are done as well. Right, in that case, you guys need to come over here, I think. You can start mining that area as soon as I've got my... Uh, hatchery in place, which might take a little while now. That's a nuisance. Gobbling through the resources a bit too fast. But I think we're on our last base now. Should be the last Protoss position. But we've got to... Either... Pre well... It might be worth trying to produce some uh, air units to try and deal with those bloody reaver things. Protoss are spying on us. There's a little observer there. A couple of them, even. But not anymore. Where did I 
to make that queen. Oh, there she is. Right, send her down there, I think. these guys up to just defend this area for a moment. Just check there's no little things or anything interesting lurking in the uh, amidst the lava. Okay, so let's bring him uh, over here. We can see about parasitizing one of the um, Pokemon units and see what they're up to. How's the guest back then going? Not depleted yet? That's, that's depleted. Right. You little chaffies need to come down and uh, mine this one instead. Or possibly, in fact, the other one. Where are you? There you are. Uh, right, you can't hear them instead because that's already built. Right, let's get our hatchery. Right, um, we'll have a few of these. We can build a bit of um, some air troops, I think. If I can get like, let's say, six guardians at minimum. Then they can sort of just support the ground troops as we move into that enemy position. Pull a few of you back, I think, just. Oh, then, right, okay. I forgot what I was doing for a minute then. Right, okay, so we want a spire. Uh, we could get two, but I think we'll leave it at that. Uh, we still haven't got a hive, so I might be working on that. up an assault force really. Getting guardians isn't the most sort of ideal thing to do because we've got to uh, build a spire, then we've got to upgrade the spire, and then we've got to build mutalisks, and then we've got to evolve the mutalisks. So that could take a little while. But at least we can just sort of spy out this area a little bit. Let's move this queen over here and see what's around the other corner on their flanks. Uh, some, uh, maybe some drones. No, not drones. Uh... Yeah, there we go. Right, so that's their base spied out a little bit. Okay. Um yeah, the big problem is there, basically, where the Reavers are. But there's not a huge amount of stuff around. Nice big attack should do the trick, but we need to deal with the uh, the Reavers. They've really got to go. Right, let's uh, send them in from that side. I don't need to hide before I can do that. And I think we'll have a squad of Zerglings to go in and uh, just absorb some of the fire, really. So we've got our six Mutalisks. I just need to evolve them into uh, possibly a few more as well. Just need to evolve them into Guardians once we can. Right. 
you guys up here, and then you can attack, yeah, down there, along with the Ultralisk and a bunch of Zerglings, and possibly the Garrison there as well. Uh, unlikely they'll be able to uh, do a counter-attack while they're being attacked. Uh, it is possible to do, but it sort of has to be planned before you actually get attacked and just happen to be sort of coincidental rather than deliberate. Uh, right, so you guys want to move there. Let's move them there. I need to move like another squad down there at some point. So we've got we get another squad yet. Okay. Yeah, I still don't have the high. Okay. Almost got it. But I don't have the minerals. Yeah, I do. Good. Okay, good, good, good. Alright. Oh, fuck me. Um, shit. Uh, just get a few more overlords and. You require more minerals. I haven't got enough fucking uh, site coverage. I'm getting murdered by here. Bloody things picking off all my drones. Right, okay, withdraw the drones, get them up to the Overlord. Okay, good. Bloody things. Right. How's my spire? It's only halfway, a little over half. more to replace those losses. That was a bit of a bloody nuisance. Well, at least we've got overlords in place now. Um, yeah, we'll the second one up. Uh, just so we've got uh, plenty of uh, eyeballs on the uh, teleporters. Right then. Yeah, I might just do a second uh, lot of uh, Zerglings to come down from this direction. Good, that's done. Right, let's get the firepower upgraded and where are all my birdies? Get them upgraded. Right, so I think we'll leave it there. And in the next part, we'll launch an air assault plus ground assault. Just chuck everything at the Protoss in this position and see what happens. So thanks for watching and bye-bye for now.